Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Wednesday, December 30th, 2015. I'm Mark Brash, your host, and this is going to be probably one of your final updates before I publish my, my final results on the Keshe Star Formation Plasma Reactor Energy System 2 that uh, I've been replicating in hopes of uh, replicating Keshe's claims. It's not looking good so far. Uh, as you can see, we have the, well, let's see what, what, what he calls it here. Um, I'm going to take this directly from the publication at the Keshe Foundation website. He calls it the Star Formation GANS Reactor. It's the SFGR, right? So the Star Formation GANS Reactor is acting as a plasmatic energy field that is supposed to get picked up by the Magrav Energy Bead System, or the MGBS. Now, keep in mind that Keshe is a moving target. Okay, the target shifts all over the place so that you can never ever quite keep up with what's going on. I get emails that say, and messages that say, well, why don't you work on this? This is what he's doing now. Or why don't you work on this? This is what he says now. Oh, it's a Taurus now. Oh, you, you need to put your GANs inside of a quartz crystal now. Are you f***ing kidding me? Keep in mind that all the claims that Kesh makes for all of the technology that he is publishing is based on what came before it. Everything that comes before what he's talking about now has to work. Has to work. The best that any of us can hope to do, because Keshe is such a moving target, the best that any of us can hope to do is take a snapshot of what he's talking about at the time what he claims is working at the time and complete the replication. This entire setup, which has taken me months to build in my spare time, is based on the 68th Knowledge Seekers Workshop, published July 2nd, 2015. It is the ES1, the Magrav energy beads, and the, plas the star formation GANS reactor combined together, which was demonstrated by Mr. Cash and by uh, Alex, the Nigerian. Um, and quite frankly, I still think that that's a little inside joke that Cash is playing on us, bringing a Nigerian in uh, who are world famous for scams, right? bringing a Nigerian in to show us his knowledge of the system, uh, instructing people to put GANs in their gas tanks. How many of you put GANs in your gas tanks? And then later had to pay for expensive repairs to your fuel injection systems because you blindly followed this idiot from Nigeria who said, oh yeah, I put guns in my gas tank. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm, I'm so sorry for you. Um, anyway, let's get back to what I'm doing. Okay, this is, this is a replication of the snapshot of the 68th Knowledge Seekers Workshop, where Kesh demonstrated his technology and the, the teachings and understanding at that time. So I have, uh, in this picture here, you see I've got uh, most of my uh, Magrav energy bead components laid out. Here is a close-up of the plasma, uh, plasma transistor setup NPN. So this is supposed to be an NPN transistor, but you'll notice the, the lower energy bead is short-circuited to itself. That is per the diagram. And essentially, that lower portion 
does nothing. It simply conducts electricity through the outer shell to the second one, which conducts electricity to the top lead. And um, the center conductor of the top one connects across the AC grid, or, or I'm sorry, the uh, yes, the AC grid coming in. Uh, in later designs, that is described as a plasma capacitor. And that's all you really have here. Um, here is a close-up of some of the energy beads for the magnetical ring. And here is a close-up of the energy beads for the gravitational ring, where they are all connected together. I have a piece of nano-coated copper wire that I've been using to twist all of these together. And uh, last but not least, we have the, uh, the fifth and final Gans reactor plasma sphere that Kesh calls the single dynamic Gans reactor, the SDGR. And the purpose of the SDGR is to extend the range of the plasma field that you're creating with the star formation Gans reactor so that you can extract energy from the plasma at a distance from your primary source. In this case, we will have the MagGrav energy beads right next to the energy source and there's really no need to have the SDGR directing the energy anyplace else because it's right here. Um, I'll build it anyway just because, right? And uh, maybe sell it to someone as a novelty. But um, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. And I'm going to continue to complete the MagGrav energy bead necklace and uh, put it together. And the testing will begin today. Happy New Year. Thanks all for watching. As always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And peace, everyone. Okay, boys and girls, this is it. I would like you to mark this day on your calendar as the day that you saw Kesh Plasma Gans providing free energy. Are you ready? Got 3.03 uh, volts. And three, two, one. Woo! So yeah, there's there's four in series. So there it is. There's your uh, Kesh plasma free energy. That's it. And believe me, that is about the only free energy you're going to see from this Kesh plasma system ever.